A lot of people not gonna like this video, but it must be done. So I was watching a live stream on Facebook yesterday and the Memphis woman, well, people call her town. I'm not gonna put her pictures up here. I'm not gonna put no video up here. She was shot and killed um, in front of all her children. A lot of people saying she got four, five kids. And um, before we get into the video, King AK47, Voice of the Streets, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. Once again, tap the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and share this video. So um, a lot of people are blaming the men that killed her, right? Now, I'm not absolving them for anything because it was a man that walked her down. But this is what I'm going to say, man. The lady got herself killed, bro. The lady got herself killed. For one, if you see the fight, it's her kids versus a group of another family kids. They're fighting. For one, a lot of people kept saying she only pulled her gun out to protect her kids. No, she should have told her kids to go the hell in the house. She sat there and let her kids fight. Now, I don't know if she was there when it started, but I see nothing that made her, you know, and if she tried, then her kids, they just don't listen, man. And a lot of people just don't have authority over their children. I don't know what happened. I'm just throwing out ideas, but I'm just saying what I seen. So as her kids and these other kids are fighting, she pulls a gun out. Now, for a minute, she just walking around with the gun trying to get other kids off her kids, right? Now I'm thinking, why the hell would this woman pull a gun out and these is little kids fighting, right? Now, you see a man behind her with a gun out, but he you could tell he don't want to shoot her or nothing. He just got his gun out. Now, there's another man that comes from the cut. He walks up, he look at what's going on, and he walks away. Mind you, she still got her gun out. I guess she tried to put her gun up. But as she's doing that, she's trying to grab another kid. I don't know if she hitting or swinging. She's trying to grab another kid off of her kids. And by that time, it was too late. The man walked right up on her and shot and killed her. Now, the craziest part about this is it was live streamed by an older woman and an older man. When I tell y'all they didn't budge when gunshots was going around, they didn't flinch. The camera didn't cut off. They just kept recording. You hear the man say, man, he just killed her. And it was up. Oh, this was so normal to these people. And all she kept saying was, it's that ratchet shit. It's that ratchet or something of that sort. She just kept saying that. Now, everybody blaming the man that shot and killed her, right? This is rule one, man. You don't never pull your gun out if you don't use it, bruh. Because after she got shot, one of her kids picked up her gun and they got the shooting at the dudes and then they returned fire so the kids could have got killed. This whole situation could have been prevented, man. For one, we got to stop raising our kids ratchet, man. We do. If our kids is in the fight, we got to have, we got to install enough fear and discipline in them to where if we say leave and go home, you leave and go home. There's no way that situation shouldn't have happened. Two, you never pull a gun out, bruh, ever. This go for men, this go for women. And you don't use it because, believe it or not, she had enough time if she wanted to where she could have shot the first dude with the gun and the other dude wasn't even close up enough on her to kill her. She could have got in the shootout with him. So her life could have been spared. But I'm thinking this, man, based on the way the first dude with the gun was in front of her and even how the dude, if she never had that gun, she would be here right now, man. And all this was a kid's fight, bro. If she never pulled that gun, I can tell the first man didn't want to do nothing to her. He had his gun out. She had her gun out. I think she pulled hers first. Because you hear the people on the live stream say, nah, he got his gun out. The dude walked up, looked at her. You can kind of hear him say, put that gun up. She don't do it. Dude walks away, comes back. And I don't know if the dude probably thought she was put it. I don't know. All I know is he shot her and killed this woman on live. You see her body. She wasn't moving or nothing, man. 
And I'm willing to bank, man. She had plenty of chances and opportunity to put that gun up, bro. She didn't put it up. And a lot of people out here capping, talking about all she was doing was protecting her kids. That's it. She did nothing wrong. Nobody wanted to tell the truth that she pulled out a gun and did not use it, bro. And I don't even think it was the type of situation for her to even have that gun. It's a kid's fight, man. None of these kids got guns. No kid got a gun. No kid got a knife. It's like a four-on-four -four kid's fight, y'all. Literally. And it just hurt my heart when I see that lady get her life took, man. Um, now, what I'm about to say is I'm not saying that the man, the man going to end up getting in trouble because I don't think, I think she was on her way to putting her gun in her waistline. But at the same time, he can honestly say she was out there for like two minutes straight just waving a gun around. Yes, yeah, she didn't point it and it was pointed at the ground. But the fact is she had one and shit, I got scared. My daughter right there too. Like she got the gun pointed down, but she's still around kids. As they're fighting. Just a horrible situation. Uh, rest in peace to the girl. I think they said her name was Tam. Rest in peace to her. Um, I know her attention is wanting to shoot nobody. And I know her attention is wanting to die neither. I know her attention was to be on her kid's side. But at the same time, man, we all know you never pull no gun out if you ain't going to be ready to use it, man. And that's real talk, bro. And especially when it's men with guns and you the only woman there with a gun. And to you kids, bro, if y'all see this video, y'all putting your parents in the dumbest situation with trying to be ratchet in the hood, bro. I'm just saying the kids did not listen to the woman at all. They couldn't listen. No adult figure. It was nothing that, it was no adult. The wrath of God couldn't even stop these kids. If Jesus Christ would have ascended from the heavens and told them, stop now or y'all going to hell, they would have kept doing it, bro. No authority, no learning at all. But that go into parenting, man. And then as I was looking at her profile, and I'm looking at the all hood ratchet shit, bro. All hood and ratchet, man. But that don't mean nobody deserved to lose their life. Rest in peace to that woman, man. Them kids going to be traumatized. They watched their mama die. The other kids watched somebody die. And the crazy part, it was a man and woman recording all this. They didn't budge or nothing. They just said every other day, this ratchet. It shook their head, man. Sad situation, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video, man. Anybody in Memphis that know what I'm talking about, y'all can leave a comment. Let me know how y'all feel. Uh, if you're not from Memphis but you seen that video, my, my boy Hood Educated say, cold, cold demonstration. I'm out.